Spirit, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Goodness, Gemini, you seem to be in a bit of a uh, energy upheaval going on over here from what I can see. So the first card is the mind card and um, this is the uh, page of swords and you can see this person's mind is all over the place over there so you are very distressed very stressed out there's a lot of things going on you're thinking uh, very hard about something but it's causing a lot of confusion uh, the energy is very very chaotic as well you're a lot in your head so you're stressing out about something quite a bit um, it seems like there was the tower moment that came in there with the Thunderbolt card. So something that has caused quite a big shift in energy there. Uh, quite a lot of drama, a lot of trauma. There might have been a lot of loss. You know, you could have lost your job. You could have lost your home. Uh, there seems to be something really big. Maybe, uh, you know, you were involved in a big argument as well. But it's got you extremely stressed out. You could have been dealing with somebody that has caused a lot of betrayal. And there might have been a lot of problems that you have been dealing with. You seem to have ended a cycle over there with the world card so something has come to a dramatic end I'm saying dramatic because you've got the, the tower with the world card. So something really big ended for you. So this could be a divorce, a uh, loss of a job. It could be a loss of stability as well. But that has come to an end. And it's left you in a very chaotic situation as well. Uh, you know, very, very traumatized by whatever is going on. It's almost like a post-traumatic stress disorder uh, kind of a feeling that comes through. Now you've got uh, the Eight of Swords, so you were feeling very stressed out as well. So there's a lot of pressure coming in over here. You can see this person's some hands coming up in the back, pulling out their hair. So a very stressful situation, very, very trapped within that situation. It's a very dark card, and it, it's like you were very stuck in it. And it seems to, it may have been done, uh, you know, to do with... Um, could have been that to do with your work situation but there's something very political almost uh, behind this uh, energy that's going on you've got a very very huge snake over here and this is about being in a very toxic situation this person was lying so they were wearing a mask that they seem to be uh, you know all about born and all um, you know, um, very sweet and angelic, but in actual fact they were not, and they seem to have caused a major big betrayal over there. There's lots of lies, a lot of deceit, a lot of problems that came out from the situation, and this has left you in quite a state over there. So going into the future, there you are stuck between a rock and a hard place over there. So there's some decision that you have to make, uh, a big decision, or you know, you, or that you have to really make and you're feeling very, very vulnerable at this particular moment and very, very stressed out, almost stretched to the limit over there. Now, you need to go and get some advice. Uh, so uh, this card is talking about you need to go and ask somebody for some assistance or some advice in order for you to get through this particular situation. Um, it looks like it has been uh, extremely difficult. You are going to be making a brand new start as well over here. Um, so it, it, it looks like um, new starts coming, but you do need to go and ask uh, for advice. Um, you know, this is almost... Um, this is almost like a wild card. So, you know, things have not come to light yet. You need to go and ask for advice and ask for support in order for you to get out of this kind of situation. Um, so there's a lot of big shifts of energy over here and a lot of drama that seems to have come through. Uh, and you do need that support. You've got a master card over here. So this is make, meaning that, you know, uh, get that advice from somebody that you can trust as well. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Mythic Tarot.
you got the Ten of Cups. So there's something that has ended for you. So it looks like it may have been a relationship that has come to an end with that Ten of Cups. You've got this couple over here. Uh, maybe it was something that was very long-term, very, very established, but it is now all broken down, uh, and, you know, that has come to an end, it seems, here with that Ten of Cups. And this may have been that tower moment that came in for you with that energy read. So that has caused a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress for you. You're crying a lot about it. Uh, with that Queen of Cups, spending a lot of time by yourself, looking at the past a lot as well. So, um, you know, very, very upset about what is going on, but feeling very isolated and very lonely, uh, very miserable here. This is the card of uh, feeling a bit depressed as well. Now, you are trying to focus on your work over here. You've got that Three of Pentacles. Maybe also this relationship that you worked, you know, that you had, you worked on quite a bit. You worked on very, very hard, uh, but it didn't pan out the way you wanted to. So you're now refocusing back again on your career over there. Looks like there's some kind of offer coming in of money, uh, maybe even uh, of a new job coming in as well. And this is going to help take that focus away from all that depression that you're going on. Uh, that's going on. You've got the justice card over here, so this have this has been a legal decision uh, that has come to pass. So something has happened, and there was a court case or some kind of legal decision that was made. Um, and uh, you know, this is how you, uh, this is probably the thing that has caused all this change that has come in for you. Now you've got the two of pentacles over here, so you're trying to make a decision. Uh, you're trying to focus back on that work again over there, so trying to make a decision to move on. Maybe you're trying to pick a job. You're tr definitely trying to cut that past out. He's got that uh, sword in his hand. And you're, you're cutting out the past and going to focus on the future. So you're really making severing ties with that past. You might have some financial issues as well with that Two of Pentacles. So really juggling finances as well over there. But it looks like, you know, from the work front, there is a payoff that is coming. You know, you are going to get uh, maybe offers that come in that's going to bring in more money as well. Now you want to make a fresh start for that Ace of Cups. Uh, this is, you know, in, you know, on a relationship front, or even, you know, on a, on a personal level, really, uh, and, you know, walk away from all the drama that has been. So you're looking for quietness, uh, you know, quietness, and and you're looking for peace and harmony, and that's what you're hoping for to come in. Now you've got the Knight of Wands over here, so you might be relocating to do this work somewhere else. So this is about overseas travel. This is about also making big decisions and making them very quickly, uh, having to act fast on information that comes in, and having to be very proactive. So uh, with this Knight of Wands, it actually might be that you're going to be moving on and traveling to do this particular job with that Three of Pentacles. Um, and, you know, this Queen of Cups, it's being a single person as well with that Queen of Cups. So uh, the Knight of Wands, it seems like you're going to be moving or traveling to do your job. Now, you've got the Four of Cups over here. And this is about, be careful about whom uh, you take advice from. In this particular deck, these two sisters were advising their sister uh, about doing things, and it didn't turn out to be right. Uh, they were not giving her advice uh, that was going to be constructive. And in fact, once she followed their advice, uh, she ended up losing things. So watch out uh, from whom you get your advice from. Make sure that it is somebody that is reliable and somebody that you can trust and that the advice is going to be sound. So don't just take advice and don't listen to gossip as well with that Four of Cups. This could also be a new offer coming in as well because Four of Cups also represents a new offer being made to you. Now you've got a lot of options available for you, so you're considering all your, your options. Make sure you are doing some research there. Don't jump into things uh, without knowing where you're going. So you might be making plans or you might be getting a new job or may, there might be job offers that come in for you. There could even be relationship offers that come in with that Seven of Cups over there. With the Knight of Pentacles, it might be dealing with a fire sign person of, as well. Even there too, make sure if you're dealing with new relationships or you, you want to get into a new relationship that you are actually finding out about that person. Uh, don't believe everything everybody tells you. Uh, so make sure that you know you are uh, you have your foot feet on the ground that you are very grounded when you make big decisions. Now you've got the temperance card over here and this is about trying to get on top of whatever has been going on. So you're getting a balance back on your emotions, you're trying to move away from all the turmoil that you've been through uh, and you're trying to get some healing as well. Now, uh, the final outcome, uh, you've got the Six of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Chariot. So there is some offer coming in with that Six of Cups over there, uh, and you are going to be considering it. So lots of uh, options being available 
for you, uh, you know, getting over all these problems, but a new offer comes in. It could be an offer in the work front. It could even be a relationship offer as well. It might be somebody that you've known in the past because the Six of Cups is about dealing with things from the past. Um, so it could be something, something that comes in from somebody you used to know in the past or even you bumping into an old childhood friend or somebody that gives you an offer that's pretty uh, good and you are sitting there considering it. You've got the page of swords over here. Uh, so this is moving away from whatever has been going on. So uh, news coming in as well. This could be also official news coming in for you, some kind of message coming in for you. Uh, it could be even new contracts that you sign. But there's a whole move that comes in over here. So you're moving away. You're going to be uh, traveling or relocating, changing homes. You could be even buying a new home with this chariot card. Um, and this news comes in. So this could even be signing new contracts as well with that page of swords. If you're dealing with people around you, there could be somebody that's still stirring up a little problems uh, from gossip. So just be careful of that as well. So like I said, with that four of cups, just don't listen to gossip. Uh, get reliable sources of information before you make big decisions. This could be, like I said, moving on um, you know, after all the drama because he's uh, riding away from this huge cloud behind him and the mountains, so getting away from those obstacles, relocating, maybe even buying a new home, and maybe starting a fresh over there. Now, with the chariot card, there's always success after all those problems, so it looks like, you know, things will start looking up for you. So you are ending some kind of emotional cycle over there and moving on. If this is a work situation and you're going to be focusing on work, there's a lot of options coming for you and you might be actually changing jobs or relocating to that job somewhere else. So this is cards from the Animal Tarot. You've got the four of some over here and that again is that offer that is coming in again. So you've got uh, your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting you. Present, be open to investigating opportunities that come your way so there is some opportunity coming your way for you to move forward but make sure you're looking at it very carefully and um, you know considering it look at all the pros and cons and then make a decision don't just uh, disregard it because it doesn't um, you know tick any of your boxes You've got the Prince of Autumn, so this is about work. So this offer is coming in on that work front over here. And you can see this is a tortoise moving with his shell, so you might be actually moving home uh, to go and do this job somewhere else. You've got the Prince of Autumn over here, which says it's important to make a de detailed plan before starting your new endeavor. Once you have a plan in place, then you can t uh, take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. Now, the Prince of Autumn is a very slow-moving... Uh, it's uh, the um, Knight of Pentacles. So it's a very slow-moving knight, and but he gets the job done. He's very organized, and money comes in as well. And you can see with the seahorse. Now, the seahorse is talking about traveling overseas as well, and that's going to bring in the money. So it looks like you know you ha you maybe you're going to be doing this job somewhere else, but it's also going to generate a lot of finances as well. And there might be some overseas travel involved with this particular job. So you have completed a cycle over there. You've got the world over there. This might be a new job that you're going to be starting and you're going to be traveling to do this job over here. So a new offer comes in for on the work front and you end an old job over there because you've got the world card and that is ruled by Saturn. Congratulations on successfully accomplish, accomplishing what you set out to do. You made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. So you are finishing off the cycle. You have learned a lot. You are very uniquely talented for what you are about to do right now. And it looks like with that focus uh, and, you know, hard work, money is going to be coming in and that new offer is coming in for you. So it looks like you've been through a very, very difficult emotional experience here. And it looks like you're going to be focusing on a lot on the work. And you might be actually traveling or moving home relocating really to start off afresh somewhere else so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye